Hey guys, from the Soy Sass Sass Sass, and welcome to another cigar review. And today, I gotta address some beef. First of all, I'm pretty sure some of you heard of Sin Papi Rick, the cigar reviews. And, you know, usually late, doesn't release videos on a regular schedule. But that's okay. We still love him. But, he comes out and pick on our accent, saying that we don't have accent. Are you kidding me? You're, you're telling us that two Asians reviewing cigars don't have any accents? All we have was accents. Maybe not a Spanish accent, but I don't see you do the entire review in Spanish. If you do the entire review in Spanish, I would not say the word. But I could if I try, if I want to. Do the entire review in Chinese. But the point was that we're in America, so we're doing American uh, English reviews. So don't give me your thing. Just speak English. And maybe it will be a lot quicker for you to release your videos. Okay, just want to put it out there. But, you know, we, we love Rick, so just don't pick on my hands. Anyway, today we're doing the Davidoff Blend 10 year exclusive edition. We have previously done a Davidoff Blend Solomon a while back, years back. And um, thanks to Eric, made a small wager with me and he lost. So he ended up buying one of these. Thank you, Eric. All right, so inside is just basically a smaller version of the blend. Smaller version. Okay. Lack of the box. Very nice. Velvet bottom. This is white, but it's like, it's velvety. Velvety. Okay. So with that being said, take a look at the cigar. Davidoff Blend 10 Year Anniversary Exclusive Edition comes in this lacquered box of 10, limited edition to 1000 bucks total, priced at $599, which makes each one roughly 60 bucks. The size comes in 6x50 Toro. The wrapper is Dominican and then uses Ecuadorian binder. And then there was five different filler from Dominican that were aged minimum of five years in it. So with that being said, it's roughly just a little bit more than half price of that Salomon. Salomon came in $95 that we previously reviewed a while back. That was eight and a half inch by 57, which also uses five different filler from Dominican as a binder. However, that one uses the Ecuadorian 702 wrapper and then Dominican binder. So the same idea, but swapped out. And that really does make a complete, completely different cigar. We'll see how that goes. Okay, I hope you enjoy that little unboxing, but I want to show it to you. This is, ooh, I see myself. It's the original blend box, all right? Big boy, okay? This is the new 10 years, smaller, with white lettering, so it's exclusive. Nah, it's cool. Nah, it's cool, you can see all my lights. Nah, it's cool. Hey. 
That is cool, but you can see which one's the big boss, right? If you're gonna buy it, buy this one. But if you want to wager, you don't want to break somebody's bank, you get this one. But if you're gonna buy it, I will say buy this one. I think, unless this really tastes good, like like really really good. All right, so what about you? Smoke. Okay, get started. Took a little bit to pack it back in there so that you know it's not a mess over here. Let's go. Woodsy, sweet, a little bit of licorice pepper. That's it. That's that's pretty much it. Yep. Sweet. Oh, fruity. A little bit fruity too. It's like musty, fruity, woodsiness on a cold draw. A little bit leathery as well. And a little bit earthiness. Just a little bit. I'm gonna adjust this so it's not in the way. Very leathery. Pepper. Creaminess. Kind of light. A little bit of baking spice, floralness, that pepper keep coming back, okay. A little bit of earthiness, but a lot of leather. A little bit of cereal, a little bit of cereal and sweetness. Okay, so that's uh, the beginning. Let's uh, smoke one third. I'll be right back. All right, one third. We got a little bit of woodsiness. We got fruitiness. We got a little bit of this like um, creamy and then that kind of converts to some sort of a mineral like bitterness not a lot just a little bit i also have barnyard and floral i want to say there's some nuttiness as well but it's not really appearing oh yeah barnyard is up there though so yeah that's what i got first there uh, it's smooth um it has good separation of flavors but uh, it's not crazy crazy. It's just like an easy cigar right now. I mean, this got some basic notes. You can really taste that binder. Not the wrapper, but, but the binder, that Ecuadorian binder, that flavor. I don't know why. So, but we just started first there. We'll see how the second they'll do, and then we can look at the band. In my memory, I think the regular blend is better. But, you know, memory can play some tricks on you, depends on the time. So, let's uh, 
a sell second, second, uh, blah, 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 second, third, do. Be right back. Okay, second, third. It got a lot sweeter. Pepper coming back. A little bit of hay, cedar, a little bit of earthiness. Well, not medium earthiness. Like the barnyard. And it's got that cereal taste too. It's actually not bad. Um, but my memory is telling me that the Solomon was way better. This one was like a downtone version, which doesn't surprise me at all. It is pretty good. It burns a little wonky. Didn't have to really fix it, but burns a little wonky. But overall flavor is there. And I can see this thing taste really good with some scotch or um, bourbon. It's got that. It's got the potential to taste really good. Now, I'm not drinking today, so I can tell. But it's a basic Davidoff white bin. Like, there's no mistake in this. There's nothing to talk about. And here's a blend 10 year ban with the blend logo, the blend bar logo, and uh, 2013, 2023. Basic, get the point. Not too bad. Can't complain about it. It's there. Uh, I do wish that, you know, since the 10th anniversary, should they make it more impressive? But at the same time, they like to make it downtoned. Everybody can smoke it. It's gentleman-like, that kind of stuff. I get it. I really do get it. But man, dab it off. It is what it is. It is what it is. I really wish they used their red bands. Like the red color band. They, 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 they look better to me. They look more festive to me. They look happier to me. The white band made me feel like a lot of time, like just a normal cigar, you know? Just smoke a lot of Davidoff, so I, I have a lot of those bad white band, bad band, white band, white band, and I can just, just throw them away. So that's the second third. We're into the last third now. I really hope that the last third continues to develop this flavor and, and, and kind of finish in a good note. We'll see where that goes. Be right back. All right. So we're at the last third. Fruitiness, woodsiness, creaminess, nuttiness, a little bit of light coffee, just a little bit. Really, really good luster. Um, if you pay attention to it, it's, it's actually not bad cigar. It's actually a smooth, a complex, continue to deliver flavor cigar. It's really not bad. Um, but I think compared to the original blend, still lacking a level, a tad. Smooth though. Uh, it, it is a easier cigar to smoke. It is less of intimidating than the original um salomon it's good relaxing i like it and the barnyard comes if you take a smaller puff okay so that's a good cigar but with the good cigar is it was 60 dollar price range 57 you know whatever uh no this is more like a 27 28 dollars ago at best 27 28 dollar so that's where i will give this comfortable price and i think a lot more people will be able to enjoy the cigar at that price it's just that davidoff tend to like to hey okay, uh we gotta get a car they gotta get a car this gotta get a car and then gotta move out you know you know the business deal right everybody gotta get paid somehow and that's where the cigar ramp up the price and made it special and a lot of time I, that's the problem right it's like the uh, uh cigar companies rent out price on certain things to make it exclusive right so that not everybody's smoking it exclusive it's just sort of certain type of people that want to splurge or smoke the exclusive not necessarily because the cigar really costs that much to make, right and we all know that it's, it's just business it's just business okay so They want the people to go to the blend bar that kind of have a certain level of income to be able to spend. So business will do good. Just the way it is. Just the way it is. 
So yeah, that will be it for this particular cigar review. It does taste like a winner, Eric. Tastes like a winner. So I hope everybody gonna try this one. It's not very expensive, but it's also not affordable in a way because you can get a lot of different kind of cigar for that price. All right, but if you ever go to blend, I would suggest you smoke a blend. All right, so it will make sense. Yeah. So if you like, uh, if you like this review, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and uh, check out our podcast. Check out our swag. And check out our um, subscriptions, membership thing for early access. If not, hey, enjoy the next video too. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.